Hello and welcome back to the channel. It is 2024. Happy New Year. I hope you had a fantastic break over Christmas. I had a great time with the family. It was brilliant to switch off for at least a week or so, both Apprentice One to One and the day job and have a proper break. But we're back now and in this video I wanted to delve into some different types of screwdrivers. We haven't done a tools review for a while on the channel and I thought first up for the series of videos coming, we're delving into solar again and other installation that we've got going on out in industry. I thought we would have a look at some hand tools. We have access to a lot of those through the Apprentice One to One Academy here and also in the day job as Mr. Bridgman often says, that's Neil Bridgman from the Electricians Podcast and UK's Rail, electricians are using screwdrivers as consumables. So we go through these quite a lot anyway in the day job and I'm sure you guys and girls following along are the same. And I've got 10 different options here at varying price points. We're gonna run through them. Some you may be familiar with, some might be new to you. And I hope there is some interesting bits of kit here that might help you in selecting your next set of screwdrivers to try out. If you have got any opinions of your own around equipment that I haven't shown in this video or the stuff that I have, please do drop them in the comments. And if you're not a subscriber as yet, follow down the page a little bit, click subscribe and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're enjoying this content. First up for 2024, I thought it'd be nice to do a tools review. We've not done one on the channel for a while. We've got loads of solar PV content and normal electrical work coming along with the podcast over on the Apprentice One to One channel. Link to that in the description as well. But without further ado, let's tilt the camera down and start working through these different sets of drivers. I'll talk about the price and what I think of them as we work our way through. So we'll start with the Klein Tools VDE rated drivers. These ones are the Philips variety on the crossheads. Actually, this isn't part of that set, I should say. This is one of the interchangeable ends. You can get these in a set or just with a, a posi and a flat blade. Um, as a kit from CEF, that's where I got this one from. I've also got the little folding pack with multiple blades and different accessories in. But these are really nice. They are rated to 1,000 volts VDE. The handles on these are the best on the market in my opinion. We're gonna look at loads of different options through the course of this video, but these ones from Klein for me are as good as it gets. Um, I've had this for a number of years now, I think probably three thinking about it. It's still going strong, works as intended, as does the little pack of drivers as well. These were a newer addition um, because they're Phillips. I don't think you can get these in Posi Drive as yet. I'd held off getting them, but I thought when I saw them on offer, I'd dive in and help myself to some. And again, the handles on them are absolutely amazing. These again are rated to 1000 volts. And yeah, just really nice driver in your hand. They're not the lowest cost option. I think off the top of my head, this set of five was around 45, 50 quid. And this was about 25, 30 pound. The pack with the interchangeable blades again is around the 50 pound mark. So. You know, there's, there's the quality aspect when you are parting with your money, and I think these definitely give that. But if you're an apprentice or a trainee, perhaps this is one that's kind of out of the reaches at the start of your career, but something down the line you might want to think about. As I say, you get your value in the end because these do generally last a longer period of time than some of the more budget options. But let's move on and have a look at a different set of drivers. So these are a new addition. They were a gift over the Christmas break. So I've not been given them by the manufacturer. I've been given them by a member of the family. And these are not VDE, ra VDE rated, just to put it out there from the start. They're by Vessel. Now I've got a set of Vessel VDE drivers and I do like them. The ball grip on them is nice. I think Weira do a similar size style of ball grip as well. But the unique feature on this particular set of drivers is the ratchet inability. So you'll see it will ratchet if you're driving. You can spin it around to ratchet the other way. And then this little ball grip on the end does pop off. So if you're wanting, you can use it without the ratchet with a smaller end on. And equally, if you want to pop this ratchet into a replacement blade, you can do. So these you can buy separate to the top bits. And again, these were not low cost. I think looking around, obviously I didn't buy them myself, but they were around £100 or so. They're from Japan, so they're made in Japan. They do feel like a good quality driver. I'm yet to be convinced on the ratcheting. That's the one bit that, that does feel a little bit flimsy and it's a plastic little dial that adjusts it, so the longevity on those, I'm yet to decide on what we'll see as we put them to use. I thought they'd be nice on the solar PV jobs when we're out in the cold, maybe working on 
some terminals, they might be a nice way to get around it. But obviously we need to be absolutely certain that the systems are dead. They should always be dead when we've got the drivers out anyway, but the VDE stuff is a good last line of defense. So this is something I'm gonna be very careful using, but we'll put it through its paces and see how it comes up through the course of some of the content in the coming weeks. But out the box, I quite like them. They're a nice set of drivers to put in the kit and um, yeah, report back on those soon. Next up is some options from Weir. Now I've had these for a number of years. I used to solely use a set of Weir drivers, to be honest. I did like the handles on them to begin with. They're, they're, I still do. They're nice, um, like a rubberized feel to them and they're a good shape as well in your hand. The thing that started to let them down, and this is why I'm kind of down to the last large flat blade in the set, um, is that they did tend to snap the ends. That was my experience of them, a little bit more easily than, than other brands. Obviously, if you push something to its limits, it will break, and perhaps I did that beyond the manufacturer's spec. I've not actually looked or checked. But it was noticeable that they did tend to not last quite so long. Um, I've also got these from Weha. These are the torque adapter bits. These are absolutely fantastic. So you can put them in a Weha driver, but they also fit in most other sets of drivers as well. You've got the little... Um, usual connection point there. You've just got to be a little bit careful with them. Obviously, you don't want to be putting them in impact drivers because they're not rated for that. But this particular one is two newton meters. It's preset. You can pop it in the end, make your termination. You're not messing about with a torque driver. So I keep that in the end of this one. I've got another one, as you'll see, in the end of the Speedy. This one is for 2.5 newton meters. And again, the Speedy, at the time I got it, I thought it was really good. But as things have moved along and I've become more aware of other products on the market, again, Vessel have a really good... Um, electrical screwdriver that will kind of tighten well run in screws I think is more descriptive they aren't going to tighten them up for you and you don't really want them to be doing that either um, the speedy in its original variation was limited in the amount of torque it had so it wouldn't really spin connections up to anything like um, a sensible level I would say you were still left with a lot of hand tightening at the end I think the speedy too solved that but I've not got one of those to report back on um, but again it was a nice um, bit of kit but when I got it it was super duper expensive I think it was around 250 quid um, so again a bit of a treat that one and it largely sits obsolete in the bag now this pocket driver from Weir is in my pocket every single day it is really good quality you get a selection of bits in the end you'll see I've managed to not lose any as yet um, they have got the um, cage clamp termination in your terminal bar and your consumer unit with a kind of flat blade and the crosshead in it you know what i mean and a posi crosshead and a couple of flat blades in there as well and it's magnetic on the end so there's no like pressing a button and pop it out it just magnets in and then the same push fit in the end for those of you who are familiar with weir and this fits nicely in your pocket it's similar to this one in its intended application but as you can see it's a lot smaller so this was the original weir pocket driver it is much bigger it does have the button on the top that tends to um, stop working and you'll see i've had a number of these drop out and get lost along the way as well they'll be in a tool bag somewhere um, and that's my bad for not looking after them well enough but that's the differences with those and then again this little um, stubby driver from weir and again this is really good um, gets you out of a tight spot sometimes especially when you're fitting inverters you've got to be 300 mil from a corner usually anyway but it still can be a bit tight getting in so having a small little stubby driver to fasten the bracket screws on is nice and we always end up in these small nooks and crannies don't we as electricians um, and yeah this lives in my bag it's the go to stubby driver in my kit and no complaints on that again it just pops in pulls out as all of these little weird drivers do um, and yeah a nice set of tools from we here they're nothing especially wrong with them like i say i just noticed they tended to not last quite so long as some of the other more expensive options and i say that because i think when i got this set they were around 35 40 quid the Pocket Max, I think it's about 30 quid or so. The Speedy was super duper expensive. These torque bits, I think you can now get in a set for roughly 150, 200 pounds for five of them. So again, they're not low cost. This was about 15, 20 quid, I think. And when this first came out, I think you were looking at 35, 40 pounds or so for the original Pocket Driver. But let's move on and have a look at another set. So next up is a set from Nipex, and you'll see these look especially new because they are relatively. I think I've had them a couple of months or so, and I've been using them as the daily drivers in my bag. Um, been looking after them, giving them a wipe down once a week with the big wipes, so they aren't generally this clean. They have had a run over this morning, first day back at work. Um, and yeah, super impressed with these. Again, they're slim tipped, so there's none of the insulation that perks out the end as all of these drivers so far have been actually 
And again, the handles are super duper nice. I really like the feel of the Nipex drivers. They're like a rubberized feel to them. They're a nice shape. I've had no breakages so far, all the way down to the very, very small tipped driver here, as you'll see. Um, and that one actually isn't slim tipped, just looking at it. It's the only one in the set that isn't. Uh, so I'm not sure on why that couldn't be slim tipped. Maybe it's too small to get the insulating material depth that's needed for its VDE rating, most likely. The next size up uh, slot head is VDE rated to 1000 volts and it is slim tipped. And they do carry the IEC rating on the driver as well. Um, so again, great to have in your bag. Full selection. These come in different kit forms as well. So I got this particular set with the Posi drivers. There's th four of them in there. Two smaller Posi 1s, two larger Posi 2s, and then a 3mm and what looks to be a 2mm driver on the slotted heads but again depending on what you want have loads of different options in the different kits and you can buy them individually they were around 40 pound so again these are the more pricey options as they're coming up through the course of this video we're going to get towards some of the more budget varieties that apprentices and trainees may be set to use more often than not um, but yeah nice drivers i really like these these are the ones i'm using day to day at the minute so next up is the CK Dextra VDE Slim Tips. Now, I'm not going to get these out of the box because somebody's won these as part of a giveaway, but I do have a set of my own here at the Academy. I've brought one in. Um, and the basic uniqueness of these is they glow in the dark. So you'll notice these lighter colours here. Um, if I put the lights off, I will in a minute, you'll see that they, they glow. And again, Slim Tip, they're really hard wearing and long lasting these from CK. This is a five piece set that comes as a kit. I think they're about 45 to 50 pounds or so. Again, 1000 volt rated. The handles, again, they have a nice rubberized feel to them. They're a little bit of a different shape to the Nipex and the Weir ones, which are quite similar. And again, very different to the Klein Tools one. Um, out of all the ones I've shown you so far, these are probably my least favorite in terms of the grip on them. Uh, the handle but otherwise a solid set of drivers and as I say I used to have these in my bag day to day for a couple of years or so um, and largely it was to try and help not losing them in loft spaces I thought the glow in the dark feature I was sold on the gimmick what can I say but I'll pop the lights off and show you how these turn out glowing it so I don't know how that's coming up on camera but hopefully it's showing you the um, glowing of these so again if you was to chuck these down in the loft somewhere you've got a better chance of finding them in a floor void. We always end up in dark spots as electricians, and that is the unique selling feature of these CK Dextra Slim Tip VDE drivers. So next up is this large set from Milwaukee. I think it's 12 drivers, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, 12, because they give you one of these little silly ones that we always chuck in the bin as electricians. But again, these are for a giveaway, so I'm not going to poke around with them too much and again you can get them in different kit forms with smaller numbers of drivers this is one of the larger sets they do when you've got torque bits in here as well as your usual flat blade and posies the handles again a nice rubberized feel to them they're thousand volt rated um, i can't comment on the actual longevity of them because i've only just recently got a small set myself and the rest of the ones that we've been buying we've been giving away to apprentices and trainees as a nice little treat of good quality VDE drivers. I think this particular kit was around 50 quid, maybe 60. So the value is at a similar level to everything I have showed you so far. And again, the handles on these, they are quite similar to the VDE and Nipex options, um, but they have a slightly different finish on with different rubber parts, as you'll see with the black to the red. And again, they carry all the IEC ratings and the 1000 volt markings. And they come in this nice little case, should you want to keep them in there. Most of us pop them into our day-to-day -day work bags. So these cases largely end up in landfill. But if you are wanting to keep them in a separate little case in the van, you get that in the kit as well. And you'll all know I'm a huge fan of the Milwaukee pack out system. So the quality of tools Milwaukee put out there are never far off the pace. And I am sure these are just the same. But as I say, I've not put these into day-to-day -day use myself. With all of these different options I'm showing you today, it's absolutely impossible for me to actually review them at that level. But I will do my best going forward to put a set of these into use and report back later on. So next up is a set from Irizola. And for those of you who are as old as me and in your 40s, you'll be very familiar with Irizola. They were the staple driver set for most people when they were at college. They were for me back in the day, one of the first sets of drivers I ever had was Irizola and they were always exceptional quality and these are no different. As you'll see, these are brand new. These are for, again, a giveaway that we're doing at the moment to apprentices and trainees, but I've got a set of Irizola drivers. I really like them. Um, you'll see with these, 
They're not the slim tip variety, so these do have the uh, more bulky insulating material on the end, but you can get them, I believe, with the slim tips as well. They are a thousand volt rated. The handles are a totally different form factor to anything else I've shown you. So far, they kind of have an extra little um, lump in them, it's the best way to describe it, but they do sit well in your hand. They are a comfortable screwdriver to use and hold. And again, you got the thousand volt BDE ride rating. They come in loads of different configurations as most of these other kits do as well, to be honest. You can see in this one, we've got a selection of flat blades, some posi twos and posi ones. Um, and yeah, you've got all of those options there. Like I say, they are a great driver day to day. I think these are about 40, 45 pounds or so. You can never go wrong with a set of Irizolas. Um, and yeah, this is a nice, again, what might call a premium set of drivers that you tend to get a bit more lifespan out of. Um, but moving forward, we're gonna have a look at some of the other budget options and I will give you my feedback on those as well. So this is a little set from Amazon. It's Amazon Basics. They've got their own range of screwdrivers. It comes in this little case. You see it's a seven piece set. Again, they've got one of these little silly drivers that they're classing as part of the kit. Again, most electricians are never gonna use that. These were about 10 pounds. So again, these are a much more affordable price point if you are a trainee and an apprentice. The quality of them seems absolutely fine. We've had a set in use with the guys for the last couple of months and they've lasted up just as you would expect for a set of VDE drivers. None of them have broken so far. They're not slim tipped. The handles on them are a nice feel. They've got these little bubbles on there. So they're a bit more grippy than maybe some of the other budget options that I'll show you in just a second. They look nice, they feel good quality in your hands. Again, they carry the IEC marking that you need and they are a thousand volt rated. Come in this little pouch style bag. Um, again, I'd pop them in a, in a work bag to be honest, but if you do wanna keep them in a little pouch bag, then that comes as part of the deal as well. And I don't think you can knock it for 10 quid or so. That's a good option from Amazon. So again, if you wanna go and check those out, head over to Amazon, type in VDE screwdrivers, and they'll usually chuck them towards the top of the list because they wanna flog their gear before they do anyone else's. Um, and yeah, we've given a few of those away and I've had no complaints so far. Seem a very decent set of low cost VDE screwdrivers. So these are a new one on me again, and I have to apologize because I think I bought up the last bit of stock from CEF. Believe it or not, these were five pound for the whole set. They're from Silverline. I didn't have a great deal of hope for the quality of them based on that price, but I bought the last, I think there was 20 sets from CEF to give away two apprentices and apprentice one-to-one, -one, um, thinking that a set of VDE drivers is better than none. And I've been surprisingly impressed with them. Again, these are brand new because they're for a giveaway, but we have been using a set here at the Academy. They are still going strong. They do seem a little bit weaker than the other options I've shared so far. The small tips on these are a thinner metal and I thoroughly expect that they will wear out and snap sooner than some of the more premium products. But for five pound, you cannot complain for what you get in. Again, they're 1000 volt VDE rated. They do carry the IEC trademark, uh, sorry, marking that you need. And again, on the um, front packaging here, it says guaranteed forever. I'm not sure exactly what that means. We all know how some of these guarantees work. But in this little kit, you've got a two and a half mil and a four mil and a five mil and a six mil slotted driver. Um, and then you've got your Phillips um, PH1, PH2 and always soft grip handles, and they are chrome vanidium shafts. So there you go. And like I say, we're giving some of these away through Apprentice One-to-One -one at the minute. I thought it was a nice way to spread out some of the um, funds we have among as many people as possible. And we'll wait to see what the feedback is from those people who receive these. Um, if they start falling apart, we won't be getting any more. But for five quid, I thought in for a penny, in for a pound. These seem a legitimately decent option at a budget level. If you are in here and you're training and you just wanted a cheap set of EDU drivers to get going, absolutely nothing wrong with them whatsoever. The handles are a smaller shape. I must say I'm not a great fan of the handles on these, um, but I'm not going to knock them too much for that because you kind of do get your pound for your buck on that. That tends to be where the money goes in the way the maybe market research on the handles and form factors of these things that have been applied in some of these more premium products just isn't there on these lower cost ones and it's not fair to put that on them at that level. So last up is this little um, electric screwdriver that I got from Amazon. Um, and again, in comparison to the Speedy, this was around 20 quid. 
I didn't have a great deal of hope for it when I got it. I must have had this now two, maybe three years. It's still going strong. It's USB rechargeable. Um, it's push drive, so if you push on a terminal, it will um, tighten it or untighten it based on the setting here. You get a little battery meter on it. You can still do it manually if you put it into forward or reverse and push the button. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice driver. It holds well in your hand. It comes with a set of bits and a case, but I've subsequently binned all of those because they were weak points in the kit. Just use a normal impact bit in the end. You're not going to get a great deal of torque out of it. There is an adjustment on the end there, but it, this isn't going to start over tightening your connectors. It's ideal for consumer units, circuit accessories, just to have in your tool bag and save a lot of the legwork in making off your terminations. And again, Vessel do a variety just like this. I think it's around 50 to 80 quid, depending on the option you get. There's a few different torques and speeds with those, so be careful if you're buying that from Vessel that you do get the one you're looking for. But as I say, 20 quid, direct from Amazon. This has lasted three years, still going strong. Just a little option to chuck in there alongside all of the VDE and hand tools as a little option for making off your terminations there. And this one's from QB. But I think it exists in this form from lots of different manufacturers. It'll just be rebranded. Absolutely cannot go wrong with that at all. So I hope you've enjoyed that look through these screwdriver sets. I think there's about 10 in total. And just to say there's loads of other options out there as well. Just to mention Draper as another example, we've given tons of the Draper stuff away through Apprentice One to One. The interchangeable blade sets from them, again, rated to a thousand volts. They're not slim tipped, but are around 20 pound or so. They represent exceptional value. They come with a little case. You can also get them as individual screwdriver sets, again, around the 20 pound price mark. So they kind of sit between the budget value Amazon basic sets and these silver line ones and the ones you can go off to Lidl and Aldi and pick up um, down the middle aisle, somewhere in between there. And again, you tend to get that bit better quality from the drip set than the budget ones, but not quite the same premium feel as some of the more expensive options I've shown in this video. And the torque driver from Draper as well is exceptional value. I think that's around 60 or 70 quid. Um, the range on it meets most other things on the market. We've just sent one out on a giveaway pre Christmas, I haven't got one here to show you, but we're regularly getting them in and passing them out. If you go up onto the Apprentice One to One Instagram account, there's an example of it over there if you wanna go and have a look. Otherwise, I hope you are all set to have a brilliant 2024. If you've got any options of drivers that you wanna drop in the comments, I'd be keen to know. I'm always looking for new tools that I've not tried to put through the paces because despite what certain people might tell us, these consumables I find really interesting. I know it's a bit of a nerdy thing as an electrician with screwdrivers. They are just something we put to use to help us make money um, and do the job day to day. But I think there's lots of nice different options out there. And I hope this video has maybe shown you some of them that you weren't aware of. And hopefully you guys and girls getting involved in the comments will teach me some things that I'm not aware of either. Um, coming up in the next few videos, if you want to subscribe, please do click below, thumbs up or thumbs down on this particular piece of content. But we've got loads of stuff coming on solar PV, battery storage, EV charge points, industrial and commercial electrical work, domestic stuff. We're involved in every sector doing all kinds of work you can imagine. We've got some apprentices and trainees who are coming along for us for work experience as we did last year in 2023. We've got some extra special people coming into Apprentice One to One to deliver bespoke and dedicated training sessions for people visiting us here, building on their knowledge and training, supporting existing training providers, learners and employers along the way as well. I'm really excited for 2024. We are absolutely flying in the day job. Apprentice One to One is so exciting as well. It's something I really love doing and seeing its growth and the journey with all of that is keeping me motivated and interested in helping the training space and those of you wanting to qualify as electricians in the months and years ahead. So I am here for that and some. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video very soon. Thank you for watching.